Hello, so this is a requested lighter video. Um, I got a lot of comments over the years if people asked me could I review the simple kind of barbecue lighters, whatever you want to call them, or home lighters. So on Amazon I was able to get a pack of three, so obviously I've opened one, for um, I think it was about six pounds, so about two pounds a lighter and these are obviously refillable. Now the main reason I hadn't done videos on these before is they're not very EDCable, you know, they're not a lighter you could conveniently fit in your pocket but they are um, actually really practical for home use. So, as the box says on this one, it can be used for candles, ovens, fires and barbecues, and there's a whole load of things you can do with them, and these ones are quite nice. So these ones are just called Basics Refillable Adjustable Flame, there's loads of different brands of these and everything, obviously some will be better than others. These are all plastic construction except the metal for obviously the valve parts and all of the um, sort of barrel and all that for them. So, basically, you end up using it a bit like a gun, um, obviously not for shooting, but in terms of the mechanism. So how these work is one feature I like on these is, you can probably see there, there's a lock. So all that means, when the lock's on, you can't press the trigger. Um, when you take the lock off, there we go. So piezoelectric ignition. And what's also good on this, very easy to adjust gas flame sort of setting. So that's on the lowest setting there, if I put it there, now it's on the highest one. As you can see, fairly much, you know, bigger flame. So yeah, the idea of these is that you can obviously like gas hobs with them and things like that. So you've got something with a long reach to it, so you're not putting a match in your finger or, you know, your lighter, like a small lighter in your finger right next to, um, you know, a gas hob where it might suddenly light and then you'll get burnt. Um, you could light cigarettes with them fine. You know, if you had a cigarette in your mouth or whatever, you could still do that. You'd be able to light candles find this, obviously, because you can actually get it into the um, jar and do that. And obviously, as the flame's adjustable, you might just want it on the lowest flame setting for the most part. Another advantage of these is... Oh, it actually has a little window in it. I didn't notice. That's another good feature. You can see the uh, butane level inside. So, as you can see, you can actually, on the, this model as well, check how much fluid you've got, because you, that's um, see-through there. So, if you can see me looking through there, but there you go. So you can see that's nearly full. Um, so that's another good feature of these, is these ones as well, you can see how much butane's left in it. But what I was going to say as well, is because of the size of these, you probably get more butane in a lot of models of these than the traditional lighter. Um, let's say like a little clipper or something. So the advantage, of course, to that is that you can use these more times before refilling, refilling it. Obviously, these just refill like standard butane lighters do. You wouldn't need to use expensive butane in this, you can just use the cheap butane, so you can get loads and loads and loads of refills of these. So yes, very, very practical. So, the main use I'll probably use for this is lighting incense, because incense in certain holders can be a bit of a pain in the ass to light with some lighters, you know, getting your hand close enough and getting the angle right and all things like that. Probably quite good as well if you're trying to burn, like, maybe confidential documents. You put a load of them in, you know, like a sort of incinerator type thing, maybe put some lighter fluid on them, and again, you don't want to get your hand too close, so rather than striking a match and chucking it in, hoping it lights properly, and generally wasting quite a few matches doing that until one sets it off properly, what you could do is obviously just stick it in, do that. So that's obviously a good use of it. So yeah, overall, these are really nice actually. I'm surprised how much I like it. And as I said, the only issue is you can't really EDC these. Now, unfortunately this one, you can actually see the piezoelectric ignition is quite close to the end. Don't know how visible that will be, but the actual piezoelectric bit will need near the end. In theory though, I imagine somebody might be able to make a model of this with a shorter barrel, you know, where, um, like I said, you couldn't saw it off and do that, but I don't know if there's a company that would maybe do these that are a bit more compact, because that might be quite a nice design if you had like a lighter like that where you've just got the end section there. But overall, yeah, these are pretty damn good for what they are. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of requests for these, and for ages I thought, why would anybody be interested in me doing a video on one of these? They're not particularly interesting type of lighters. But now I've just sort of, now I've had them, I've realised why they are so practical. And again, not for taking outside of you, but around your house, there's just so many different things you can do with these, um, which is safer than using a normal lighter, for example. Like I was saying, reaching into things or lighting gas with them, where you don't want it, you know, to flame up and then burn your hand. Um, and, you know... So the thing I like with this is the lock, because with lighters like this I always like a lock on them, because if they're sitting on a shelf, I don't want them to somehow get knocked, the flame to come out the end, and then it, you know, 
to set something on fire or burn something. Whereas when you've got the lock, as much as I'm sure, like all safeties, it's not 100%, don't totally rely on it. It does seem to lock the trigger pretty well and stop it from functioning. So, yeah, not much to say about these, other than they're good. So these ones are just called basics, and it's pretty damn good for a basic, isn't it? These are off Amazon, and I think, like I said, I haven't checked the exact invoice price, but I think when I bought them, they were about £6 for the free, so that's like £2 each for one of these. And don't forget, obviously, you can keep refilling it over and over and over again. Eventually, of these, the piezoelectric bit will go. It's not really easy or practical to replace those. But I suppose if you get a lighter that works out like £2 each, you get loads and loads and loads of refills from it. And then it eventually goes after something like the 30th plus refill. You've easily had your money's worth of that. So, yeah, as said... Um, you know, these are good. Another thing I like is with the gas adjuster sort of lever on there, the sort of switch. Um, that's one that you do just by hand. You don't need a screwdriver or anything to do it or a coin like on some of the lighters when there's one in the base. Also, these are good if you want to get the sort of adjuster lever at a particular spot. With some of the screw ones, the things that annoy me is you sort of can't ever work out where it originally was. Because I have a lighter that's kind of like this, which is a novelty gun one. And the annoying thing of that was that... It has the screw ga uh, gas adjustment system, and it doesn't show you where the factory original point was on it. Like with this, obviously, you can only go this far with the switch by default, uh, unless you probably took the case off and modified it. But you at least know that's the minimum, that's the full, whatever. Whereas with some of the ones with the screw, you'll end up not ever being able to seeming to get it back to the original, like, perfect, you know, gas point. So you either have too much flame or too little flame where it won't light. And the nice thing on this is even on the minimum flame, if I take the lock back off, you see you still get a good enough flame with that. And obviously that's bigger. And then just to show you, you can obviously while it's running, go up and down with it, up and down. Um, but yeah, you might find with some of these lighters there might be a bit of variation between how much gas comes out. Still looking at that lighter fluid level and it looks like it's barely gone down. Um, yeah, it looks like when you get one new in the packet, that's basically totally full. But it seems like, um, yeah, these probably store quite a lot of gas in there. So yeah, they're very good all in all. And I quite like that you can sort of do a James Bond looking thing like that with it. You know, just for the shits and giggles of doing that.